So guys, this is episode 4 of House Invasions. It's a bit of a different one today. We're actually on the main road now and we're going to go down to the house. It's quite a walk from the main road. So, let's go. And while we're on the walk down there, I will have a chat with you. Come on. This is the little crew that's coming with me today to help me on the house invasion. So this is where we have to walk down this little path. So obviously guys, there's no like motorbike access or car access to this place be careful we don't fall down as well what i'm going to be doing guys a lot of you have been asking in the comments about um a few of the house invasion tours i've done saying that you'd like to donate to help some people build toilets and whatever so basically for anyone that wants to donate i've got a gofundme page and once i've reached the limit on there i will give all the money to one of the families that we see who we think's house needs a lot of renovations etc and then they can just take the money and basically with the money whatever we raise they probably will be able to build a completely new house which will really help out <laughs> nearly fell <laughs> which will really help out one of the families here in the province so if you're interested in that the links in the description you can go and check it out we've already had a few donations already so let's continue down the path to this house jesus you wouldn't fancy walking down here with some yeah. water look it is very slippery so you better be careful very very slippery So guys, imagine there's no like easy access down here if you have shopping. Imagine if it's raining, how like much of a swamp and slippy it will be. <laughs> God, that could have turned into an interesting video real quick. Syra was literally holding you, man. Syra tried to save me. It's, um, look guys though, I mean, you are totally in nature. The views are so beautiful on the way down to this house. Cassava. We've got cassava plants. Yes. Banana trees. And the one inside is sweet potatoes. And sweet potatoes, so. You have everything fresh here, and I mean, look at the views. Absolutely beautiful. We're nearly at the house now. So as you can see guys, it's about a two to three minute walk. I think the video has been rolling for now. Down to the house. We have a little river. We've got a, co we've got a coconut pathway. To, to, to a little river. Wash my feet. We'll, we'll step in. We'll step in to wash the feet. In that fresh... River water. <laughs> Oi, <laughs> I'm falling over. <laughs> and look, guys, look at all the plants they've got. They've got a little like front garden with all the plants they grow. They probably take these somewhere to sell. And down here, we've got cows. Look at that for a cow. What's this? Huh? What's this? this? Used to be our, um... Shower. Shower area. So it's a well, right? Yes. Do they still shower there then? Not anymore. They it's a different there. place. Okay, so we'll show you where the showering area is later. This is the house here, the front garden. So let's go and take a look. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's You're go right. Tom, let's go. Let's go. Mm -hmm. You gonna? Yeah. They're gonna give me a tour. Okay. Look. Oops, it, <laughs> this is probably the best oh. view from a washing line you could have anywhere. Right? Let's go, let's go. So this is the house, as you can see. It's the metal sheeted roof, which is pretty standard in the province. It's made out of wood. And it's got some sheets hung all around it. This is the sack from the sack of what? Pig feed. Pig feed. So the side is like uh, the sack of pig feed pig feed which has been cut and nailed onto the wood and you can do it like this what? wow <laughs> nice this is the little i'm gonna say what 
table kitchen area. Yeah. Like the table kitchen area where you can oh, eat. Yeah. This is the house and this is the house. Yeah. It's like basically a two. It's basically like a two in one house. You've got one here and one there. And one there. And this is like where the fridge and where they wash kitchen. the dishes and little kitchen area. There's the kitchen. And here. She's the chef. Chef Nicole. Hello. Wait, I'm slipping everywhere. And this is the. No, I'm going to show the kitchen area first. This is the kitchen where they wash the dishes, they've got the fridge. There's one little house there, but we're going to go into this one first. They're um, studying right now because all the kids are studying from home. So now the moms are helping the kids, trying to answer, you know, the modules that they have. So this is where they sleep and they got a lot of certification over there, you see? Oh no, this is, oh, they're sisters. Yeah, they're Mother. sisters. Uh, yeah. And there's little ones over there, they're shy. <laughs> And the speakers, yeah. <laughs> Are they video key speakers? Yeah, video key. <laughs> they have video key and the TV over there. See, every house in the Philippines must have video key machine. It's yeah. standard. Standard procedure. Mm -hmm. So, we won't disturb the kids doing their work too much. Mm -hmm. What's in there? That's another house. Someone in there? No, for their clothes. Is someone in there, no? No one. So, as you can see on this one, it's um, plywood on the side. We've got some chickens down the side of the house too. And this is basically just the wardrobe, the walk-in wardrobe. This is what I'm calling this. So, I don't know how well you guys can see, but all the clothes basically are in there, folded and hung. So, it's a big walk-in wardrobe actually. Oh, damn. Slipper problems. Uh, I'm stuck. Nice. Look at that. What's that? Butterfly. Beautiful. Nice. So this is the view. That's where they shower. Go down. Okay, guys. This is where the shower area is. Like I said, just a very small, simple province there. It's very nice. Walk-in wardrobe and a kitchen. I kind of like the walk-in wardrobe. What an area to get dressed. It's massive. So down here is where they wash the clothes. I have to be so careful. It's so slippy today. It's been raining. So this is where they will do like the washing of the clothes and whatnot. Beautiful views all around. This house is like kind of now in the middle of nowhere, there's no neighbours or anything so it's very peaceful around here, as you can see as well. In front of the house, coconut tree for those fresh coconuts, a lot. Look, up there, right there, so every morning you can have your fresh coconuts. There's actually a river there, can you see? I can hear it. I can hear it, yeah. We, we'll go around the perimeter and show. What's going on? Okay, I'll keep you all day. The kids are doing their homework. Oi. They're taking me the they're taking me the muddy route. I'm heavy so I stick into the mud very easy. You're sticking in the mud as well, Syrah. Here, they have a lot of Aha. For cockfighting? Yes. So guys, this is the cock area. A lot of people in the province also breed cocks for cockfighting. So let's go and take a look. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. And this is where they sleep. This is where they sleep, yes? Chicken. Chicken. You can see it's the area, it's all around there, it's fenced off for the cockfighting. Well, the cockfighting doesn't happen here guys, it's just where they breed them. There's another one there. 
It's um, as well cockfighting. You might want to know this, people that don't know. It's actually legal in the Philippines. It's kind of, I suppose, a big business here in a way. You know, the they go watch the cockfights. They can get money for the cocks. Yeah. I should say roosters because cocks sound so funny. They can get money for their cocks. Yeah. And just down from the cock pen, the rooster pen, there's a, a little river running down there with some fresh water. So, you close if you want to get some fresh water, you can just go down there with a the bucket. So, this is the back of their house. Very nice. Aha. Uh -huh. So, it's on quite a big plot of land, guys. We have to go under the net. As you can see guys, we're really like in nature now, just like banana trees and coconut trees everywhere. We got a really nice fresh air. Yeah, it's so nice out here. You can hear the river running down and... Oh, that's your Lola. Grandma. Her grandma's up there yeah. farming. Flower farm. Yes. Very beautiful. It isn't, isn't this like the most... Uh, like nature house I've seen in a while, you know, it's just like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Like you eat, you cannot even get down here in a car or motorbike, you have to walk. Yeah. So, it's very nice, very peaceful, simple, very peaceful, simple living down here, guys. Now we're walking through the flower farm. It's still their family's land. Yeah, family. Look, look at the flower, it's so pretty. Look, beautiful flowers. They take these to the city to sell. The kids want to introduce me to their grandma. Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Saira Esco. <laughs> what do you reckon? Next YouTube star right there. So she's taking me to introduce me to her grandma in the flower farm. Let's go and see your grandma. Come on. <laughs> I'm not really into the flowers, but a lot of people are. So, what's this called, Sarah? What's it called? Sagi pangan ani lula. Gelbera. Gelbera. That is a gelbera. See. Loads of beautiful flowers. Her grandmom is working, doing the flowers all day. They're out here, like planting, watering, putting fertilizer, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's good. What is it? The goat. My goat. It's your goat. Yeah. Oh, nice. She has a lot of goats. She has a lot of goats. Look at this. A relatively small house like the one we've just been down to. If you build this size out of, say, Hardyflex, you will easily build it for a thousand dollars. So, hopefully, we can help out a family here. Oi, I'm so muddy. So, basically, guys, we're still walking, and this is where they have to come to take a shower from the house we've just been. You have to come down and there's a fresh well down here where you get the water for showering. And they're not the only people that come to shower down here. There's other houses around somewhere that come to shower. Jesus! Uh-oh! I'm sinking in the swamp. I have to wash my feet, guys. It was quite a muddy house invasion tour. It's been raining very heavy in Cebu. We've had some floods even in the city. So in the country, it gets very uh, swampy. That's the word I'm gonna use, very swampy. So basically, the people will bring a bucket here, their soap, shampoo, and all of that stuff, and they will just go down there, they will get the water, and they will shower. And then they just walk up this path and back down to their house, which is over there. So, that's today's house invasion. 
poured on. I hope you guys enjoyed and like I said before if you'd like to donate the link is in the description box below and you guys can help me decide whoever which house you see that you want me to give the money to I can do that. So yeah that's it for this house invasion tour. See you on the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.